Yes, um, my name is Alan St. Jean, and welcome to the Oinkadoodle Moo Author Pod. Now, some people think that authors just drink coffee and take a lot of naps. That is not true. I mean, I do like my coffee, but I do not take a lot of naps. I take some naps. I don't take a lot. I mean, what is a lot? Anyway, we're here to talk about the book, Oinkadoodle Moo. It's a very special book. But first, let's talk about what what is it that makes a story interesting? What makes a story interesting? I'm going to tell you. It's called a problem. Every good story has a problem. Um, let's think about this. Nursery rhymes even have problems. The good ones, the ones we remember. How about Little Miss Muffet? Do you remember that one? Little Miss Muffet sat in a tuffet, eating her curds and whey, and then a problem. A spider showed up, a big, scary spider showed up, right? That's a problem. How about Jack and Jill? Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water, and they fell down, all the way down the hill. That's a problem. And how about, oh, my favorite, Humpty Dumpty. Yes, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty dropped his pizza. That, what, no, that's, that's what happened. Oh, he fell? He fell off the wall? Yeah, he fell off the wall because he dropped his pizza and he was reaching for it and then he fell. But that's what really happened. No, it's not. I just made that up. So Humpty fell off the wall. Now, all three nursery rhymes have problems, but there's something that they're missing. They're nursery rhymes, but they're not a real story. A real story has a problem and a solution. When the spider showed up for Little Miss Muffet, was Daddy there to squash it for her? No. When Jack and Jill fell all the way down the hill, was Mommy there to put a band-aid on their boo-boo? No. When Humpty Dumpty dropped his pizza and reached for it and fell off that wall, could they put him back together? No. They just made scrambled eggs, right? I like scrambled eggs. So, those are just nursery rhymes. But let's think of a classic story. A classic story. How about Snow White? Oh, that is a classic. It's one of my favorite stories. There is a problem, right? Snow White. Now, let's think about it. <clears throat> In Snow White, was the problem... The little baby raccoons, was that the problem? No, no, that's silly. Was the problem the apple? No, no, that was a trick question. The apple was not the problem. The problem was the queen. The queen was jealous of Snow White. Somebody told the queen that Snow White was prettier than she was. Oh, the horror. Who told the queen that Snow White was prettier than she was? Hmm. Was it Humpty? Nope. Nope. It was the creepy guy in the mirror, right? Yeah. So the queen got jealous of Snow White and dressed up like an old woman in the forest and she gave Snow White a poison apple. And Snow White took a bite and she went into a deep sleep. And she was never going to wake up. That's a big problem. But this story has a solution. Do you know what it is? Yes. The prince showed up and gave Snow White a big sloppy kiss. Ew. <laughs> I know, right? But it's a solution. So let's talk about this Oinkadoodle Moo. Let's talk about this because this is a good story too. It has a problem and a solution. Now, you guys have read this book, Oinkadoodle Moo. Hmm. What's the problem in the book? The bear, right? That's right, that's right. But let's talk about where Oinkadoodle Moo came from. I mean, how do you just write a book? Um, well, sometimes you base it on something that happened to you. And for Oinkadoodle Moo, this is a very unique book. <clears throat> a friend of mine called me around Christmas time and he, he told me he had a restaurant 
called Oinkadoodle Moo. And on the sign, there was a, a, a cow and a pig and a chicken. And he asked me if I would want to write a story about that. And I said, no, no. I have a lot of stories that I want to write. And a cow and a chicken and a pig, I mean, they don't even talk. That's weird. But I thought about it after a few months. And, well, instead of telling you what happened, I'll show you. There's a video of what happened that very day when Oinkadoodle Moo popped in my head. Just watch. Here we go. Just I remember, it was a long time ago, about two weeks. I was sitting right here in my office. I was sitting at my desk, and I was wondering, how do I put this story together? Oinkadoodle Moo. Well, maybe it could be a place. But what kind of place would be Oinkadoodle Moo? And then it hit me. Texas. Somewhere down in Texas, where few men have dared to roam. Ah! Hold on! Okay. There's a black and white old farmhouse and a barn that we call home. The farmer's name is Walter. He has gray hair and is kind of round. He gets up every morning when the sunshine hits the ground. Our farm has just three animals. The cow and pig make two. And me, I'm the crazy chicken here at Oink the Doodle Mo. <laughs> and then it came to me. I saw it. Actually, I heard it. Oops, I almost gave the next part away. Well, now that you know where the book came from, let's, let's show you the story. Not just the book, but the song. Because I write books, but I also write music. And I put Oinkadoodle Moo to music and made a song. It's the same thing as the story, and I made a music video. Are you ready for this? Now we're going to see a bear, right? Oh yes, that's the big problem. The bear showed up and he wanted to eat the piggy, and he wanted to eat the cow, and he wanted to eat the chicken. He was a very hungry bear. But the solution to the story, that's what makes the story so good. A solution should be unexpected and maybe even from the heart. So let's watch and see what happens at Oinkadoodle Moo. Here we go. This is fun. Somewhere down in Texas, where few men have dared to roam, there's a black and white old farmhouse and a barn that we call home. The farmer's name is Walter. He has gray hair and he's kind of round. He gets up every morning when the sunlight hits the ground. Our farm has just three animals. The cow and pig make two. And me, I'm the crazy chicken here at Point to Doodle Moo. One day a great big grizzly cast a shadow across the land. He was ugly and he was hungry. I told the boys, let's start the band. Oink reached for his banjo. He's a funny little pig. And Moo sat at the piano and started to play a jig. I pulled out my harmonica with all my might released. Because everyone in Texas knows that music calms the beast. That grizzly bear came running in. He stopped in front of the pig. He said, hey, do I smell bacon? Oh my, his eyes were getting big. Moo the 
cow stopped playing in a bold and angry tone. He said, hey, you mean old fuzzy bear, you leave Oink alone. With a scary growl, the mean old bear turned and bore his fangs. In a southern drawl, he said to Moo, maybe burger some more of my fangs. I said, hey, I'm just a chicken, but I'd think twice if I were you. You don't mess with friends in Texas, don't make me get my shoe. You're what? growled the grizzly bear. Chickens don't wear shoes. Hold on to that harmonica, cause you're about to play the blues. The grizzly growled, the piggy squeaked. Moo, screamed the cow. I jumped down on the ground and got my shoe from behind the plow. A great big leather shoe it was with a curious toe of tin. I raised my little chicken foot and quickly shoved it in. Then just as I had planned, the sound of magic filled the air. That crazy shoe started tapping, wouldn't you know it stopped the bear. The beast stood up and he wiggled his paws and made the strangest face. Then his legs, they started churning. He started dancing all over the place. Tapping stopped, the bear got down on all fours and ran out of the door. He returned with his wife and children, yelling, Chicken, let's play some more. Oink started playing the banjo as he sung a funny rhyme. The wooden, you know, my great big shoe started tapping right in time. Moo the cow got crazy, playing the piano with his feet. He grabbed a mic and sung with Oink a song that was southern sweet. Knock, knock, knock came from the door. It was the farmer and his tiny mouse. That sweet old man and his little pet brought their drums and rocked the house. We played until the sun went down, and then we played some more. The old farmer ordered food for all from the local pizza store. And now you know the story about new friends in a funny shoe. One day we'll be a legend here. Hmm? At Oinkadoodle Man. Pigs on the banjo, cows on piano, let's take this party to the floor. The bears are dancing, the deer are prancing, the farmer's knocking at the door. So, was that fun? Did the bear eat the chicken and the cow and the little piggy? No, no. That chicken started tapping that boot. And when he did, the bear started dancing. And he ran home and he got his friends and his family and they came back and they had a big party with pizza. That makes that a pretty good book, right? Well, let's talk about the next book in the series. Oh yes. There are three. The next book is called Oinkadoodle 2. Yes, let's take a look at the cover. See the cover? Yeah, look at that. There's a cow and a chicken and a pig. And guess what? They're babies. That means we've gone back in time. Yes, something happened years ago. And you're going to find out what happened. There was a storm. Yes. Yes, a bad storm, and the animals were afraid, and, and lightning struck the barn. And when it did, electricity went in through these old wires into a radio that hadn't played in a long, long time. And when it did, the radio's tubes lit up, and the radio came on. And when the radio came on, it played music. And when it played music, what did the animals do? They danced. Because that's what animals do when no one's looking and there's music. They danced. And everyone was having a good time. But the piggy, he heard something. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, he'd heard that sound before. Earlier that day, he was out in the meadow. Yes, and he heard that sound. Boom, 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 boom. And there, sitting in the pond, was this guy right here. See that? It's a bullfrog. Yeah. Yeah. So he thought 
there was a bullfrog stuck in the radio. Yes. I thought that was pretty funny myself. Well, anyway, then the little piggy saw a boot, and it was tapping, just like an oinkadoodle moo. And then he saw another boot, and it was tapping. And then he saw that there were legs in the boots. It was the farmer. The farmer had seen everything. And the farmer came in, he sat down in a hay bale, and he said, wow, there hasn't been music in this barn in many years, not since the barn dance. Millie was here. She stole my heart, but I've never seen her again. And the farmer looked into his boots, into those steel toes in his boots, and he thought, you know what? I'm going to go find her. So at the end of Oinkadoodle 2, the farmer gets up and he walks out into the night. He's going to go find Millie. And the little piggy said, don't worry, friends, he's not gone. His radio is on. And it makes for a good book. Something's happening with the farmer. His name is Walter. Yeah, he's going to go find Millie. But in the story, that idea, remember, remember the radio was playing? Yeah, and the little piggy thought there was a bullfrog in the radio. I always thought that was really funny. So I made a video. And it's, a, it's kind of a kooky video, but I think you're going to like it. I'm going to play it now, all right? Bullfrog in the radio. Here we go. Don't, 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 I'm bored. Don't, 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 better. Don't, don't, chicky, don't, 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 don't. He said chicky. Don't don't chicky don't 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 chicky don't 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 Oh yeah, sing it. The biggest storm it was they say we were hiding in the hay in a corner of the big red barn On the shelf a radio hadn't played in long ago it was broken as goes the yarn and the lightning struck And the tubes lit up It was just enough That old radio was on 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 Horses munching on the grain In the thunder and the rain Caught a rhythm from the radio Birds were swaying side to side To baby chicken's electric slide And then I muttered, here we go There's a bullfrog, There's a bullfrog. Stuck inside that radio Stuck inside my radio There's a bullfrog, There's a bullfrog. And he's stuck inside my head In limbo, how the cows went low, and itty bitty calf played the piano. Crows were singing, all dressed in black. Something's moving in the burlap sack. Pigs were snorting and slopping it up. Dancing on the roof of the pick me up. The mouse was clapping, the sheep were laughing, the boot was tapping. This is really happening. There's a bullfrog. There's a bullfrog. Stuck inside that radio. Stuck inside my radio. There's a bullfrog. He's stuck inside my head Yes, he's stuck inside my head
stuck inside my head Stuck inside my head But my baby, baby, there's a bullfrog There's a bullfrog Stuck inside that radio Stuck inside my radio Stuck inside my head. Oh, <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Well, yeah, that song does get stuck inside of your head, doesn't it? Yeah, that was fun. That was fun to write. So, hmm, there's one more book. Oh, yes, one more book in the series. And I wondered for a long time, what should I call this book? There's Oinkadoodle Moo, and there's Oinkadoodle 2. And you know what? As I visited schools, kids would give me suggestions. They would say, Mr. St. Jean, write a book called Oinkadoodle Shoe, or Oinkadoodle Kazoo, or Oinkadoodle Poo. No, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do Oinkadoodle Poo, no. And one day, I heard a little boy say, Oinkadoodle Boo, and I said, no. Yes, what a great idea. Oinkadoodle Boo. It could happen at Halloween, but, but I didn't know what it would be about. So about a year went by, and one day I was on an airplane, and I was sitting in a middle seat, and I was squished like this, I was squished between people. And I thought, this is horrible, because it's a five and a half hour flight. I'm going to die. What am I going to do all scrunched up between two other people? And you know what? I closed my eyes and I put myself in my happy place and I thought about that. What is Oinkadoodle Boo? And as I sat there all squished on that plane, a song came in my head and I saw it. And I thought about Oinkadoodle 2. Remember Walter? He left the barn. He said, I'm going to find her. Oinkadoodle Boo is going to be about that night, the barn dance, when Walter was a young man and when he met Millie. But this is hard. This is hard because I know at the end he's going to meet her and it's not going to work out. That's kind of a sad story. How do you write a story that's going to, you know is going to end up sad? Well, there's a lesson to be learned. So I sat there in the plane and I started doing this. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, yeah, because that song was going crazy. And I grabbed a pad of paper and a pen because I carry, I carry that with me all the time. In fact, let's take a look. Look, See this? See this pad of paper? That is the actual writing when I was on the plane. See all those scratchings and where I messed up and I drew a line through things? Yeah, yeah, because when you start... When you write a book or a song, it doesn't start pretty. You have to start somewhere. It's always messy, but you put your ideas down and then you work on it and you work on it and you would be amazed at what happens. So are you ready for the third story? This one is called Oinkadoodle Boo. This is about the barn dance. It was a Halloween party and Walter, Walter is there. Walter was a city boy. Did you know that? Yep. He lived in the city and he decided to move to the country and make a new life for himself. And when he did, he drove up to this barn and there was a party and he met someone. I've told you too much already. Here we go. And here are my friends again in my band. They're all kind of crazy. And here is Oinkadoodle Boo. I hope you like this one. Here we go. It's gonna be a while till the sun comes up.
the edge of darkness with a whistling wind. Leaves are swirling for a settling in. When around the corner came something of a riddle. A skinny city boy with some drums and a fiddle. He was driving his tractor like a limousine to the party barn. It's Halloween. <laughs> it's Halloween. The sweet smell of cornbread tickled his nose. And he was stopped by the beauty of a Texas rose. When a scarecrow capped with the head of a pumpkin caught the city boy's eyes, he said, Man, that is something. Then he heard the thunder of rock and roll and the honky tonk country that soothed his soul. The pumpkin turned his head. <laughs> Pulled up to the party barn People were dancing and raising their arms From the hokey pokey to a dizzy line dance Everybody having fun just taking a chance Then the city boy's heart just skipped the beat Cause there was a girl, his destiny Her eyes were so green he walked inside like a million bucks His belt buckle shining but he moved like a dove You see the city boy's shoes were just a little too big They were sliding on the floor as he started to cheat He went to the girl with a pretty green eye His legs got tangled then to his surprise He slid on out <laughs> From outside the barn he could hear all the laughter He just moved to town but this was not his ever after A loud screech made him jump and he almost got four wheels With a broken heart he ran off to the cornfield Stood alone under Texas stars Feeling sorry for himself cause dreams die hard It was so hard Then a voice rang out just a few ears away It said, hey city boy, I got something to say It's Saturday night, my, that girl, she is something I think you should take some advice from a pumpkin then the scarecrow cap with a pumpkin head Off a cowboy boot They were leather and trimmed in red Use these instead <laughs> Just don't take them off The boots fit perfectly snuggle and tight The scarecrow smiled as they pointed to the right Watch a dance to the bond smooth the cinnamon bread Everybody cheered as he stood up and said Hey, my name is Walter, I'm new in town I'm gonna play these drums, let's party down They partied down Walter learned that the girl's name was Millie Also new in town, she had just moved from Philly The two danced and laughed and sipped on some punch Walter's heart was racing as he just had a hug Came the special dance as he played on the fiddle Left the two of them alone in the middle It was meant to be <laughs> But the story turned, oh, it's so hard to mention A pebble in the shoe caught the young man's attention Walter grabbed his boot and he pulled real hard Then with a mighty boom, everything went dark <sighs> The barn was empty, everybody was gone 
No rock and roll music, no country songs Sitting on a hay bale, scratching his head Watching things that the night just had never been Had he just turned around, he'd have seen with his eyes At the top of the driveway, Millie was waving goodbye When the sun goes down and you've lost the day You gotta get up, cause love will find a way The sun comes up. Till the sun comes up. It's gonna be a while till the sun comes up. Yeah. Till the sun comes up. It's gonna be a while till the sun comes up. Till the sun comes up. But it will come up. Yeah. But it will come up. But it will come up. Well, that was fun. Oh, who was the little boy at the end? That was my grandson. His name is Finn. And I've always called him the Pumpkin King, which is kind of fun. So in the story, did you notice at the end, it said, when the sun goes down and you've lost the day, you've got to get up because love will find a way. That's the lesson of Oinkadurumu and Tu and Boo. We don't give up. Sometimes as you get older, you're going to find out that you make a mistake. It's okay. We all fall down. But then we get up and we learn from it and we become better and we become smarter and we become stronger. That's how, that's how you grow up. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the whole Oinka Doodle Move story. You got to see everything. How fun was this? So I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day, and I'm sure I'll see you soon. Goodbye now. Bye-bye.